A warm hello outside the 115th precinct in Queens. Rebecca Alarcon is much calmer now greeting Officer Asfaldo Nunez than she was a day earlier when her 20-month-old baby Leah stopped breathing Monday night in their home around the corner. And I scream, I like, I need help. Please call 911. I tell the father, please call 911. Forget about it. I'm just going to go to the police. The first cop she saw, a 22-year-old rookie standing at the front door. She was really scared. You know, her daughter wasn't breathing. I need the CPR right now, please. Save my daughter's life. Leah didn't have much time. She was unconscious, unresponsive. She had no pulse. Officer Nunez picked the baby up without missing a beat and brought her inside. This is uh, where we laid the baby. Uh, you know, careful of the head and just started, you know, doing chest compressions over here. He knew what he was doing. He knew what he had to do. And nothing was going to stop him from saving that child. Officer Nunez just graduated from the police academy last month. This was his first time giving CPR to anyone. But he stayed calm through 25 CPR cycles until baby Leah woke up. Uh, when she was okay, she gave me a hug and just laid on my shoulder. It's like you're a rookie in the baseball and you win your World Series in your first year. Leah was treated at the hospital for the high fever that led her to lose consciousness. Once she felt better, Leah's mom brought her back to the precinct to say thank you. I have my daughter back because of him. I bless him. Well, it's like a movie, you know, a nice ending of a movie. Now Leah is back on her feet and has a hero ready to help right around the corner. From Jackson Heights, Queens, Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News.